Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant. In today's video, we're going to talk about my beloved collection of Panasonic Leica lenses. Let's roll that intro. Let's get straight into it. Hey everyone, welcome back. So yeah, this video is going to be something a little bit different. I'm going to talk about my beloved collection of Panasonic Leica lenses. Here they are here. The current lineup I have, the current lenses I want to get, all that sort of thing. So yeah, currently I've got four Panasonic Leica lenses that I have worked my ass off for. I have hustled, I have grind, get these lenses and they haven't come easy, but I'm so glad I have because I absolutely love them. And I'm making this video partly because I recently made a video on the Panasonic GH6. and how I am actually thinking about picking up that camera, if I can get it at a good price. And what sparked my interest about that camera is my current lineup of Panasonic Leica lenses. I could go an S5 Mark II, and you know, I would like to get that camera, but I would have to start the full frame L mount lens collection. And that's more money, that's more investment. And then I turn around and I look at the awesome Panasonic Leica lenses I've got for Micro Four Thirds. I think to myself, how can I optimize those lenses to their fullest? fullest potential. To get the full potential out of these Panasonic Leica lenses, cameras like the GH6, even the G9 Mark II is really where it's going to be. Okay, to kick things off with, the lens I use the most, the Panasonic Leica lens I use the most is the 12mm f1.4 prime lens. This was in fact my first Panasonic Leica lens. When I first got it, I hated it. But after a few weeks, I learned to absolutely love it. And I'm going to say this about all these lenses. What I really love about the Panasonic Leica lenses is the look, the colors, the pop. This lens is essentially glued on my GH5 Mark II. This is the lens I use to make pretty much all these uh, YouTube videos, any filming, any architectural photography, street photography, especially with cameras like my Panasonic G9, or as I mentioned before, my GH5 Mark II. <sighs> Just great. Like all the Panasonic Leica lenses, they are built absolutely to the highest, highest specs. So that's the 12mm f1.4 with the clicky aperture ring. Oh yeah, awesome stuff. The next lens I'm gonna talk about, and I'm gonna talk about the lenses in conjunction to how much I use them. The next lens I use the most is the Panasonic Leica 12 to 60 zoom lens. Oh wow, this lens is awesome. Again, there's a little bit of love-hate relationship with this particular lens too. The variable aperture does slow me down a bit every now and again. However, I'm working with it, I work with it and I can get great results. This thing is super sharp, super versatile, built like a tank. Probably one of the most versatile micro four thirds lenses you can get. And yeah, look, it is a little bit of expensive like all these Panasonic Leica lenses, but you're paying for quality. Even secondhand wise, you know, these lenses, they don't go down that much. That's why they're such a good investment. Okay, the next lens, and this is my most recent purchase when it comes to Panasonic Leica lenses. This is the 15mm f1.7. This lens here is practically glued to my Panasonic GX9. Hang on a sec. Here it is right here. This is a fantastic lens. Um, if you have a Panasonic GX9, if you have a Panasonic GX85, those sort of style of cameras, 
this lens is a must have. Save up your money and get it, it is awesome. 15 mil or 30 mil field of view is brilliant for the streets, brilliant for everyday carry. The fast f1.7 aperture with a clicky ring as well, awesome, awesome stuff. It did take me a long time to find the perfect lens for this particular camera. I was using Lumix 20mm f1.7 for the longest time. That's a great lens as well. However, when you go to this lens here, and you all said it in the comments when I was thinking about getting this lens, you all said it. It is game changing when it comes to the GX9. And it really is. The colors, the look again of the images are fantastic. You can get super creative with it, blow out backgrounds capture energy, capture the whole details, it's fantastic stuff. Okay, finally, the final lens I wanna talk about, it's the lens that took me the longest to save up for. It's the lens that I grinded and worked so hard to get. It's the Panasonic Leica 42.5 f1.2 prime lens. Okay, now this really is the king of all micro four thirds lenses. It really is. It is fantastic. Fast f1.2 aperture. It is very niche for me, you know, I don't use it all the time, I only use it, you know, when I wanna really blow out the backgrounds, get creative, that sort of thing. It is built so well, so well. It's a match made in heaven on cameras like the Panasonic G9. I can only imagine the damage it does on a GH6 or a G9 Mark II. Highly recommend this lens as well. All the Panasonic Leica lenses. So they're all the Panasonic Leica lenses I have. Future lenses I would like to get, I would like to get the 25mm uh, f1.4 Mark II lens. That would be cool to get. Eventually, you know, I'd have to sell a kidney though, but to get one of those zoom lenses, the f1.7 zoom lenses, the 10 to 25 and the 25 to 50. As I said, this video has really come about because, you know, I am in the market for a new sort of commercial sort of camera stuff for client work and stuff like that. That's sort of part of my world that is starting to take off a little bit more. Anyway, let me know what you think, comments and queries below. And if you like this sort of thing, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me out a lot. Big thumbs up for the video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.